Hello and welcome back. For those of you who haven't watched my channel before, I'm Melinda Bigley and this is a quilting and embroidery channel. So welcome. If you aren't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and um, hopefully I can help you with any embroidery and quilting questions that you might have. If you have something that you'd like me to cover, uh, I would really appreciate it if you wrote it below so that I can know what people really kind of need to cover. Right now I'm, uh, I'm in the midst of doing a series on the feet that go on. The machine that I use most um, is the Baby Lock Solaris. I'm a Baby Lock educator and um, I absolutely adore Baby Lock machines, which I've used for years and years. Um, so that's really what I'll cover as far as how, what I sew on. But um, if you, it, it really doesn't matter what machines you have. What I teach on this, you can pretty much do on any machine. Um, but I will, I will show you the wonderful things that the Solaris does offer. Um, today is a little bit of a different, a different project. I um, found a beautiful design from Sweet Pea embroidery and it's actually an in the hoop log cabin design and you can see that you've got the floral here and then your lighter fabric here and it's got a beautiful embroidery over the top of it and what you do with this particular kind of um, in the hoop quilt block is you stitch so you start off with the the block in the center and that'll do, uh, it'll, it'll actually do a stitch that circumnavigates the block. So that stays there and then you trim away the excess fabric. The next block was actually the block above that and that's the light block. So you're gonna keep all of your light blocks together and your darker um, patterned blocks below that. And that's typically what you do with a log cabin, whether it's in the, in the hoop or not. I've never actually done a log cabin block in the hoop. I've only made them um, the, the standard way where you are actually just kind of, you know, you use, a, you use your sewing machine, not with your embroidery machine. Um, but the key to this particular, to any log cabin, is you stitch on, so this block is actually stitched right on top of this, and it's a stitch line, and you fold it. So when you fold it, you don't need to go to your, your iron, or, you know, after every single one. This, I will tell you, is a wonderful tool. Um, years and years ago, when I took my first log cabin class, the gal that was teaching it, she brought in for all of us um, cones, empty thread cones that are not the ones that we usually use. They're not like these. They were actually flat and they didn't have that base on it. So you could actually use it as a, as a roller and it worked great. Since then, I, I don't even know if these were out at the time I took that class. Um, and this is, this is just clover. So when you, when you flip your fabric, you just roll over this a few times on a hard surface and it's kind of like finger pressing only way better. And it's very quick and you don't need to put a press mat on your, on your um, sewing machine bed. So the other thing I thought that was pretty about this particular design is that, like I said, it's got embroidery on it. This is a, it's a double straight stitch on that. And then you've got your satin stitch here with your straight stitch in between it. And I thought that was a lovely way to make that, that um, quilting stand out. So this is kind of my, my, uh, my happy thing for today. I, I talk a lot about surrounding yourself with happy fabrics and um, for those of us that love to quilt and embroider, it's about thread and um, notions, fabric, wonderful embroidery designs. And for those of you that don't know and we're wondering what this is, this is the Hoop Fun Club. And my lovely, wonderful friend, Zandra Shaw, created that. She has a, um, a website that's embroidershop.com and it's embroider, not embroidery, shop, the Old English spelling, S-H-O-P-P-E dot com. And she has amazing designs and she does things that no one else does with organza and these wonderful, wonderful projects. 
um, and then she started a uh, when when everything went crazy a year ago in March she started a hoop fun club which is all virtual and bless her heart because it was a big shift for everyone and she shifted you know Darwin says it the survival of the fittest isn't based on who's biggest strongest smartest it's based on not that she is she is very bright but it's based on who can adapt and change and she rapidly adapted and changed her whole business and put it online um, made the, the available online and her designs are absolutely sensational so if you haven't seen that go to the hoop fun club on online you just google that and you can see what she offers and it is sincerely the best embroidery that I've ever seen um, along with um, some applique she does these applique birds that are sincere they are just beautiful and it's a family affair her sister digitizes and her folks are involved so it's really wonderful so that's really it's a very quick one today and then I was going to share this with you too this is just a tin I thought this was cute because it's such a nice little statement which is life is a beautiful ride I really don't even like bikes a whole lot but I just thought the tin was cute and I like the saying so you can take I'd rather be on a motorcycle than a bicycle but that's just me so I hope everyone is doing beautifully today and surrounding yourself with the things that you love and um, again if you're wondering just so you know this is a sweet pea design um, just like it sounds it's actually a company that is in Australia and they have some beautiful designs check those guys out too have a wonderful day and if you get a chance check out my um, Facebook group which is called so blessed quilting and embroidery and um, you just have to fill out a couple questions and it, it, you, you get approved as long as you're not like some buddy that doesn't actually quilt and embroider and you just want to harass those of us on that which I doubt you are so if you are we will weed you out and find you just kidding okay so have a wonderful lovely day and I will catch back up with you guys very soon bye bye for now